Y'all been hearing about our street urban culture for 40 years. That's a great point, bro. Y'all know I never everything. thought of it like that. Y'all That's know everything. Point. So every new artist is coming out trying to figure out how to be fresh new. Right. And it just happens to be they make this horrible mistake of thinking being new is emulating somebody else and being from here. It's going to be hard to get the ball back as a whole, right? right. Because, again, it's too, it's too dope to discover Memphis and St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Discovery is always going to you know, be a bigger conversation than recovery. Do you think the LA music scene has fallen off? I think we're in a struggle because, you know, it's trying to reinvent itself. There's a fear of hip hop is street urban culture. Los Angeles street urban culture as a mainstay has not changed. And it's already been marketed for 40 years. Colors came out in like 86, 87, or 88. 86. See, we hear the colors come out. See, 86 or 88, something like that. Uh, colors came out in, let me see what that is, 1988. Mm -hmm. So roughly a little mm -hmm. less than 40 years, 35 years, Los Angeles street urban culture has been marketed on a mainstream level. Mm-hmm. So there's a there's a fear of like, yo, I gotta do something different because this is already overexposed or as a nigga would say, played out. Mm -hmm. But the reality is the rest of the world not gonna buy it from you because they already know what it looked like. So if you something too different, they gonna be like, no. So for sure you gotta be in either a skater, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. Gleam in the Cube, like when that shit came out I in 90, 91. Yeah. Cause we've <laughs> always had this really dope yeah. street urban scene with skaters. Yeah. Them motherfuckers is wild, hit you outside your head with a skateboard wearing vans. And mm -hmm. my first, my first uh my first article as an artist was in Thrasher. Mm, okay. Because that's how close our street urban scenes is. You know, yeah. you go too far west, you get over there by Melrose and right. Fairfax, that's a skate scene. That's where you get our future and all that. Yeah. And then obviously all the shit we from, right? The gangs and mm -hmm. all of that. So I think for roughly 35 years, they've been marketing LA street urban culture. Like if I ask you, name a huge drug dealer from LA. Mm -hmm. Name a huge drug dealer from LA. Huge or big? Big. Tootie Reese? Right, fair, right? Yeah. Name a drug dealer from LA that made great money. Freeway Rick. Right, okay, so boom. Name a popular rapper. From LA? Yeah. Ice Cube? Name a popular crip that's not a rapper. A popular crip that's not a rapper? Yeah. Um, Tookie. It's a popular crypt. Tookie, right? Okay. Name a popular crypt that's not a rapper. Uh, turtle. Right? <laughs> Fucking Turtle. One of the greatest kind of crypt ever, right? Shout so, out to Turtle. Name a popular drug dealer from Memphis. Name the biggest drug dealer from Memphis. Mm. Name a super killer from Memphis. A, a gang member that's a popular gang member from Memphis. Mm. We just now discovering St. Louis culture. Mm hmm. We just now discovering Memphis culture. Y'all know what's like the back of y'all hands. That's a great point, Glasses. And street urban culture, that's why New York is struggling. Like, y'all know what's like the back of y'all hands. What can I show you different? That's a great fucking What can point. I show you different about LA life, the street urban life? Point. Nigga, you might argue me. I be having niggas from out of town arguing me down <laughs> on some shit that's next door. Yeah. Like Tupac must die. It was a rapper who put out a song. I forgot this kid's name, he's from like, on the East Coast. He made the song about Tupac and he was like the murder or something. I don't I never saw it till after. Like mm -hmm. and he was telling people like I stole his idea. And his shit was like about some like spiritual some like he was on some other shit. Like he was on some real <clears throat> boom bap shit to me, just different. And I never saw it because it was it, it wouldn't be something I would look at. Right. But he was like he was talking to a blogger and the blogger in the story was like he was like, yeah, you know, he's like, so how you feel knowing glasses stole your idea? He's like, you know, it's crazy because I put in all this time and energy. He's like, he goes and make up some story like that. I've never heard that type of story in my, I've never heard that story in my life. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Mm -hmm. This nigga really felt he knew <laughs> who yeah. would have it more than me. Yeah. So y'all been hearing about our street urban culture for 40 fucking years. That's a great point, bro. Y'all know I never everything. thought of it like that. Y'all know everything. Point. So every new artist is coming out trying to figure out how to be fresh new right and it just happens to be they make this horrible mistake of thinking being new is emulating somebody else and being from here 
Like if I'm an LA nigga that sound like I'm from the South, this new. No, you just a biter. So what does LA need to do to rejuvenate, you know, and get the ball back musically? Hey, it's it's gonna be hard to get the ball back as a whole, right? Mm-hmm. Because again, it's too it's too dope to discover Memphis and St. Louis. Mm-hmm. Discovery is always gonna, you know, be a bigger conversation than recovery. Mm-hmm. You know, somebody that's true. That's true. Cause you know all my saying? favorite shit recently, like Mo Three out of Dallas. Yeah. And the P- I was like, oh, I didn't even know Dallas had like And they know, got a crazy street yeah. scene. Right. You so you uh Yellow Beezy and everything. If somebody accuses like, you of something, right, you get accused of rape, and then they get it wrong. The press conference for the accusation is gonna always big. gonna be we yeah. all gonna be like, yeah. damn. Yeah. And then if like if like if we was wrong, it's like it's gonna be exactly three press every gonna time. Be three cameras there. Every time. Boy, the <laughs> accusation cause is fifty yeah. people there. They all the court. What are you gonna do, man? You like, bro? Ain't this no is not court, true. What you gonna do? You <laughs> like, another name. Ken, what are you gonna do? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. Get them y'all ready. What when you gonna do? Like that come out, right? What you gonna do? Yeah. And then, like, when they be like, when the girl's like, "Well, I was lying." Yeah. There's like two people there. Yeah. I'm gonna tweet about it. I told y'all. Nobody gonna retweet it. Yeah, right. That's nobody gonna argue with it. Like, that ain't. That ain't. Nobody exciting. gonna say I'm sorry. No. No. Trying to see a nigga go to jail. They still gonna be like, "Well, he did it anyway." You know what I'm saying? So. I think it's tough because for 40 years, y'all just been discovering nah, everything right. about this shit. That's a and great point. I think we have to commit to recovery mm-hmm. of culture. Yeah. I think it's going to be tough to do discovery because, and you're not, and I tell my young homies, <clears throat> just having, looking like you got money is not, you're not doing nothing new. Right. You just look like a fucking dick. So what does that recovery look like? You see it on Council of These Nuts. You looking at it. I got you. You looking at the attitude. It don't gotta be necessarily game banging because I yeah. don't think that's what it was about. When right. Was talking to EP and Joey and shit. It's like it's it's about getting that attitude back. Yeah. So See, nobody talk- can provide the attitude. Yeah. No other region <clears throat> in the country can provide this crazy LA nigga attitude. Yeah. Except for us. Do you think it was coming back? Cause honestly, Nip was still LA th- that we've always known, but so dope. Draco. Was you know what I mean? He's LA is so dope, and then you know we lost both of them. Yeah, but like I feel like that was the rediscovery. Like people was really falling in love with Nip. And yeah, he, and he's the same thing, right? He's still just as LA is. is Hell in- yeah, that nigga's a motherfucking a crip. But it's like I don't know if people was really moving the way they should. I think y'all made. I think the world made it really hard. I mm-hmm. think there's something that happened when he passed away versus when he was living. And yeah. I remember his struggles and and yeah. and to watch him go through shit living right. and not people not embrace him, yeah. treating him like the crip he was, like, you know, he was yeah. impervious to regular mm-hmm. human shit and not embracing him. So even Draco, like I remember him and mm-hmm. watching him put out records and the whole world never come into the whole party. That's right. You know what I mean? Then when he died, now everybody, oh, they, yep. that was Every my time. guy. I was rocking with Every him to the end. It's like, yep. no, you weren't. That. No, you fucking weren't. You know weren't. why? Because I think that I think that regret is a stronger emotion than gratitude. Ooh. Ooh. You know? And it's a definitely a more often practice. Yep. 